Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I will share the new core topics or new question in the final financial management topic of time value of money. Purposely or focus on payments or monthly payment amortization schedule. Before we proceed the class, very cited or read the alpha there. subscribe and press ring okay i will share the question and the answer Question, question number three, November 2019. Get it off seven marks. Okay. DW wants to purchase inventory. This, this question is under chapter time value of money time value of money going to purchase machinery to do this it borrows fifty thousand all right so you just highlight borrow fifty thousand so drop down that borrow fifty thousand is considered present value. Fifty thousand is present value PV to be repaid in equal installment. Equal if you found equal that is related to annuity at the end of each of the next three years. All right. So, drop down, 3 years refers to N equal to 3 and the interest rate is 10%. Interest rate I, 10%, compounded annually. So, what is meaning compounded annually? So, the interest is calculated one a year if quarterly the interest will be divided divide by four if annually no need to divide and then the first question is question number 3a determine the annual payment value Annual payment value. That means we have to pay in three times or three years. Year one, year two, and year three. So the annual payment value. So what is the answer? That I said your present value is fifty thousand. 
number of years is <laughs> three. This is the annuity. So highlight this is an annuity series. The interest rate, what the interest rate figure? 10%. I is 10%. And then what the table you use in these questions? Correct. B V I F A. Or table A four. So you refer to the table. The table is provided in the final exam. B V I F A table A A four. Alright, the formula PV is equal to PMT. PMT is payment year to year. All right, so you just use the formula. I will draw. For, for example, PMT, 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 payment at year one, two, three. This is a PV, 50 down. This is the series of. So that's why we use PV fifty thousand and PMT is this is the formula and PMT you just from this formula you just move this pvf to the left so if this is if this is multiplied then if you move to other side or to the left it can it will be divided and then this is you have to refer to the table table A4, alright? Refer to your table A4 with I 10% equal to 10% and N row N is equal to 3. So the answer 50,000 divided by 2.487 This is very easy. So the PMT or payment of every year is twenty thousand one zero four point fifty four cents. So the answer of the question is annual installment is twenty thousand one hundred four point fifty four cents. So it's equal payment. Then how we translate into table or amortization schedule? This is very important, carries five marks. So we have to remember the table column, payment number. So we need to from today and at the off at the end of the year, and then next 
two years and then three years. So n is equal to zero, one, two, three, four. And the payment amount at year one, 2104, to so refer to the above question, okay, that you have calculated earlier. Year two is 2104, and year three, don't, do not use, please do not use the same figure because we have to calculate the amount is total amount is 50,000. All right, so you have to round the figure, then you get. 2108.51. If you calculate total up, this will get 50,000. So, how you get interest paid? So, interest paid. <laughs> You have to remember, interest paid is, we refer to the I is equal to 10%. So our balance is 50,000. Then interest paid is, depends on the balance, 50,000 here. For example, 10%, then the interest paid for you one is 5,000. How to get 5,000? 10%. Times fifty thousand. So you will get five thousand. Fifty thousand is referred to remaining balance. So the principal paid. What it means principal? So in the Payment of loan, this is interest, and this is principal. And the amount of 2000. So, how you get 20,000 minus 5000, and you get 15,000. So, the balance is. You have to calculate remaining balance is 50,000 cost minus principal. Correct, 50,000 minus 15. So, in the second year, how you get interest paid? So, you get from 34,000, the balance. At the end of the year is 34 then the interest charge is 10 percent out of the remaining balance so 10 percent times three four eight nine and the principal paid is all right yes you just minus a minus b and the remaining balance is eighteen thousand two hundred so how you get remaining balance here you just minus 34 balance and minus principal. And then this is round figure, which is paid at 10% times 18,000. All right, this is very easy. And you need to make sure that remaining balance is zero. No balance anymore at the end of year three. That means the borrower need to no need to pay after year three. There is no balance. Okay. This is <laughs> The formula use or the how you can get.
Joy Yuri. Payment is from PMT. Payment year is round figure. And interest paid. Is derived from the remaining balance times 10% interest rate charged by bank. And principal paid is how much principal paid by borrower, ignoring the interest. So that's why we need to payment amount by the minus interest paid. And the remaining balance is you need to deduct the physical paid and balance also ignoring the interest paid so this is very easy and it used by bank this formula is used by bank so this is calculated yearly then monthly you have to divide it by trash so this is the method used by bank so you can refer this to your next loan taken by your company inshallah in your, your future budget if you purchase a machine or you make loan so you have to know that we pay the interest paid so this amount so one more thing is interest paid i just for the purpose of uh, teaching interest paid is pro prohibited in islamic sharia it means riba right this purpose for study on only okay i repeat this is the questions and this you have first question you need to to calculate payment amount or annual installment and you have to prepare amortization schedule okay any questions Okay, I hope you you will study or you will you can repeat it. Repeat to study this chapter. You can always repeat to see my notes in YouTube and don't forget to subscribe and you can share all right thank you very much emergency <laughs>